what's up guys welcome back to the channel and in today's video we got some more leaks um some more leaks came out uh cheng lee got a buff like actually got a buff this time uh jeshi i guess you can consider it a nerf and then some other information came out and i will let you guys know i think there is one more version of the beta test or two more so stuff can still change uh, things can still happen but it's pretty much oversight of what's going on right now so leave a like and subscribe if you guys haven't yet. anyways so let's just go through all this so someone translated this through ai so i'm guessing just the t test version leaks and they just went over everything all right so the five star characters are yao and jeshi as we thought and we have the weapons the liberation cost for Chang Li has been reduced from 150 energy to 125. So I know Chang Li mains are thriving right now because they're definitely going to put that into calculations to compare her with Gen C. And I mean, it just closed the gap even more if you're going to have more ultimate rotations. And then she has a weapon adjustment so after reaching 14 stacks of oh, scorching feathers all stacks will reset within 12 seconds wow i actually did not even know that her weapon even got buffed let me actually uh pull up her weapon here weapon buff too is actually kind of crazy oh i forgot to have the website right here anyways uh weapon buff weapon buff What's her actual weapon? Blazing Brilliance. All stacks will be removed within 12 seconds after reaching the max stack. So it was removed in 10 seconds, that was 12 seconds. Interesting. Unless it's a nerf and I'm just a dumbass. <laughs> but uh, let's see. So we have the new theme update. So it's basically the event that is going on like the festival we have some new missions new co-op defense event okay um new co-op defense event i think this is like the uh i think it's the what's it like it's like the towers that are around on the map where you activate them and then you have to stop the enemies from hitting it Maybe it's something like that, but it's actually for co-op, so that'll be interesting. Finally, some co-op content. So, new system, multiple enemy search mode. Oh my goodness, finally. Please have this be real. Please. And it helps because now you don't actually have to sit with a, like a map on the side of your monitor or your phone if you're able to just track multiple enemies at once say you want to do like a material farm and you'd want to farm like exiles and you can just mark all of them bro that's that's so good bro so some some graphic cards can now display 120 fps so it won't be always enabled but some graphic cards can enable so hopefully my 2060 can <laughs> but finally they're gonna add 120 uh, they were supposed to add it last patch, wasn't added in. Apparently it's going to be in this patch. Um, now, I know a lot of people are not trying to believe that, but and it's a toss up because PS5 is coming out. So it seems like they're actually trying to optimize their game a little bit. So yeah. Now we have a new exploration tool, a shooting utility tool really really good because not everyone likes switching to chishia or mortify all the fucking time <laughs> interface optimization just dis improved display of main screen buffs that's good because a lot of people have that kind of issue they don't really like looking at the the effects on the body they rather actually have the buff on screen system optimization databank sorting maybe referring to echo page databank sorting for an echo page i'm hoping this is for databank merging sorting that'd be great then mobile performance optimization which we already knew it's utility gun tangly buff is massive 30 percent less er needed ah i see i see why is this shit not loading okay anyways i'll see what other people are saying Yeah, I mean, if she could run like 120 now, that's actually really, really good. <laughs> I 
Not the devs listen buffs. Oh my god, quality of life. Open search mode. Echo loadout win. Yeah, that is true. Anyways, um, so then we also have the new wave play source system. So it is a thing. And, you know, this text that's going to happen. Uh, restores one wave play per 12 minutes, one unit per six minutes. Oh, the usual is one per six minutes, but now it's just one per 12. All right, so here is the poll from um, Polito. Same same person as last time. So you're going to be getting the login event again. So five and five. See, Depths of Elusive is a thousand. Moonlit Wishes is 1200. Then I believe this is the co-op defense event, 500. Sea Song, I don't know what event this is, but also 500. Um, then other events as well. I believe these are the drop rate increase events. They have the character trial. Hanging quests. This must be just a random quest. And then the main quest. Oh, this is just random. This is just assuming that we'd get that, but we don't know. Permanent content. 355 in achievements. Ooh. It's pretty good. Resonator tutorial. Now you're dailies. So honestly, it's probably not even 8k. It's really like 6k, to be honest. Very interesting. I probably wouldn't say 67 pulls. I'd probably say mm, 45, something like that. Unlimited. Maybe, perhaps very very interesting though so i wish uh wish more people were actually talking about this but i don't think anyone actually oh you know i think there is a post yeah so let's see what people are saying about this no new region still a soft pity at least yeah but it's not really a soft pity And there definitely is not going to be any codes because they're not going to be doing an anniversary until half anniversary. So that's why I'm thinking it's really only going to be 6k or so. So very, very interesting. Anyways, uh, Jeshi, um, apparently the resonance skill damage is decreased to 14% now. And the outro skill is going to be glacial damage 44 percent now it's not like separate but it now the outro skill is glacial damage 44 percent resonant skill damage 14 percent instead of 20 percent so more resonant skill damage decrease a lot of people are not really happy with this i think why they actually did this is for reincarnator I'm going to assume Reincarnator is a main DPS and based on Glacial damage and skill damage. That can be the only reason. Because there's literally no other reason to even give her 44%. So I'm pretty sure she should be the support for this character as well that's coming up. Well, yeah, that's pretty much going to be the news update. What's going on with the leaks, everything like that. Oh, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you guys haven't yet. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.